Hello guys, in our first lecture of our signature course, we're going to be talking about food. And I'd like to start off by asking you this question. Food for you, is it pleasure or fuel? If it's pleasure, it means that when you eat your favorite food, for example, strawberry, in my case, I love strawberry. For me, it's the most delicious fruit that could ever exist. I feel like I'm in heaven, in paradise. It gives me pleasure. Or is it just fuel? Fuel is just like gasoline, or in British English, petrol. You just have the food to make you go through the day. So what is it for you? Pleasure or fuel? In my case, I would say that it's both. During the week, it's mainly fuel. Um, I really, I have some pleasure in eating the food um, during the week, but during the weekend is when I can stop and really take the time and enjoy the complete course. You know, the starter, the main course, and the dessert. So what about you? When is food just pleasure for you? When is food Fuel. Talking about food categories, let's go over some vocabulary. First, we have vegetables. Pronunciation here is very important, okay? Again, vegetables. We have fruits, meat, dairy. Dairy is anything related to milk that comes from milk. Yogurt, um, cheese. Everything that comes from milk is dairy. Poultry. Poultry are ducks, chickens, turkeys. Whole wheat foods. Whole wheat means that it comes from wheat, as you can see here on the slide, but it's brown. You know the brown bread? We're going to see on the next slide and you'll understand what it is. Whole wheat foods are extremely healthy. Do you eat whole wheat bread, whole wheat rice? We have oils, sweet, seafood, and pasta. Okay, again, watch out for the pronunciation. It is pasta. As you can see on the slide, what do they represent? What food categories are they? The first one here on the left is poultry. And the second one, dairy. Are you allergic to dairy products? Can you name this bread? We have two names for it. We have whole wheat bread or brown bread. Do you usually eat brown bread? Do you like it? Now, look at this food pyramid. Is it a very usual food pyramid? Analyze all the food groups that exist on this pyramid. I can tell you that one food group is missing and it's meat because it's a vegan food guide. In a vegan diet you don't eat any food that comes from animals, not even butter, milk or even eggs. Now, I have a cartoon here that I find really funny. As you've seen a food pyramid, this guy decides to go to the doctor and then to do a checkup. And he says, I must be eating right. I'm narrow at the top and wide at the bottom, just like the food pyramid. Can you believe that? Okay, guys, so this is the revised food pyramid by the FDA. They are telling us what is a healthy diet, what a balanced diet should be like. If you want to identify the categories before I show them, you could pause now and try to guess it for yourself. The orange part represents the whole grain foods. The green are the vegetables and legumes. The red part are the fruits. Yellow, oils. Light blue is dairy. And the purple is meat, beans, poultry 
and seafood. So this is again what a balanced diet should be like. This is a cartoon that I really like from Garfield. Diet is die with a T. Do you agree with him? Is it so hard to be on a diet? Now be careful. When I'm talking about what I like eating, what I eat on a daily basis, I'm talking about my eating habits or the diet. I can say that. I can ask, what is your diet like? What do you eat on a daily basis? Now, if I ask you the question, have you ever been on a diet? It means, have you ever tried to lose weight? It's a little bit different. If you are on a diet, the question is, what should and what shouldn't you eat when you are on a diet? Something very important when you are learning a foreign language is understand which words go together. Sometimes it's easy to know, sometimes you need to you know, dig deeper and find that out. So today we're going to talk about the collocations with the words diet and weight. So when you think about diet, you can be on a diet, you can go on a diet, or you can start a diet. About weight, you can lose weight, gain weight, or a synonym, put on weight. To activate the language, you could write about a diet that you've been on. Was it a fat diet? Fat diet, F-A-D, means that it's a crazy one, like Atkins diet, the moon diet, you know, a diet that you only eat a certain food group. You can explain to us and use the words and expressions from this slide. Now, how could I know collocations in English? What I can tell you, and this is something very precious to you, is a collocations dictionary. If you go to the collocations dictionary and you type the word food, you'll see many words and expressions that collocate with food. So I'm inviting you to go to the website, put the word food and find that out for yourself and share with us on the comment section. Let's learn more words and expressions related to food. This picture represents a part of the house where we store food, beverages, sometimes dishes, cleaning material, and so on. In English, it's called the pantry. On the left, you see the menu. Watch out for the pronunciation, okay? The menu. And this guy is the waiter. Waiter is for men and waitress is for women. You can see now a table setting. And on this setting, you can see the fork, the knife, the spoon, the wine glass, the napkin, and the plate. When we go to a restaurant, we usually have a three-course meal. A three-course meal consists of starter, main course and dessert. For the main course, we usually have meat, if you're not a vegetarian. And the meat can be cooked in different ways. It can be fried, roast, boiled, steamed, roast, and grilled. How do you prefer these things to be cooked? Eggs. Do you prefer them fried, scrambled, boiled? Potatoes, roast, fried, how do you like it? Chicken, roast, baked, boiled, and the fish. When you go to a restaurant and you order beef or pork or any kind of meat, the waiter is going to ask you, Sir, how would you like your meat? It can be rare, medium, or well done. Rare is when it's almost raw, really red inside. I really don't like it. Medium is in the middle. 
and well done is when it's all cooked. Grocery in English means two things. The place where you can buy food or the food itself. When do you go grocery shopping? Or where do you go grocery shopping? Do the shopping means do the whole shopping list. You know, maybe you buy fruits and vegetables and you decide to buy some clothes at a hypermarket or a supermarket. This is to do the shopping. How often do you do the shopping? Once a month? Once a week? I'm curious to know. Here you are some more words related to food. If you want, you can pause the video after I pronounce them so that you can try for yourself before you find out the answers. So let's read with me and read together, you know, I mean, you're there, you're at home or probably at work, but if you have the opportunity to speak together or after me, it's a great opportunity for you to practice your pronunciation. Don't be shy. So let's go. Fresh, homemade, takeaway, frozen, low fat, raw, sweet, and spicy. So the first one is I love my mom's cooking. Homemade food is always the best. Number two, Indian food like curry is very spicy, you know, it's hot. We can also say it's hot. Do you like spicy food? Do you like hot food like Mexican food? Sushi is made with raw fish, fish that is not cooked. Food which is kept very cold is frozen. You go to the supermarket and you buy frozen food or another name for that is ready-made food. Do you usually have frozen food? Do you like it? After you take the frozen food, you put in the microwave oven. We call it to heat up. Takeaway food is food you buy at a restaurant and take home to eat. People on a diet often try to eat low-fat food. These eggs are fresh. I bought them today. Mm, this tea is very sweet. You've put too much sugar in it. Do you put sugar in your tea or in your coffee? Garfield, as you might have guessed, is my favorite cartoon. And here he's saying, I'm cutting down on donuts. And then John appears. We are out of donuts. And then Garfield says, I'm painfully aware of that. I know that. That's why I'm cutting down on donuts. Cutting down means to diminish, to eat less of. Are you cutting down on anything at the moment? Watch out for the preposition on. Cut down on. As a review, what is this bread? Let's see if you remember. Brown bread or wholemeal bread. And on the right you have this guy. He's delivering pizza. So you call to order takeaway food. Do you usually order takeaway food? Where from? Now, this is the most important part of the lecture today. How do you internalize and activate all the words and expressions that we have learned today? You should go to our Quizlet class that was designed specially for you and take the Quizlet. If you don't know what Quizlet is, please go back to the first block of lectures and search for Quizlet. There explain how to use Quizlet and how to make sure that you can internalize the words and expressions that we have learned. Now, how to activate the language? In our next lecture, I have a very nice challenge for you where you're going to use English in a real-life situation. So I see you there. This was our first lesson about food. As I told you before, our tripod is grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation. In the first lesson, we learned the vocabulary. In our next lesson, we're going to learn grammar, the difference between present simple and present continuous. And then we're going to read an article about school lunches all over the world. It's an opportunity for us to 
be in contact again with real English, authentic material, and learn about different ways that countries all over the world prepare food for their students. So thank you very much for watching, and I see you on the Quizlet and on our Telegram groups. See you there!